Welcome to our tech troubleshooting video. Today, we're tackling a frustrating issue that many developers encounter when working with Storybook and Webpack. Our viewer is struggling with CSS compilation, specifically when it comes to font files. They've added a loader to their Webpack configuration, but errors keep popping up. Let's dive into the details and see how we can help resolve this problem. Welcome back to another technical video. Today we're going to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully getting you to that solution. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy just like me, and get through to that resolution. Now, let's get started. Let's address the issue with Storybook's Webpack not compiling your CSS due to font file errors. First, we need to ensure that the loaders are correctly configured in your webpack.config.js file. In your webpack.config.js, you have defined loaders for CSS and font files. However, the error suggests that the loader for SVG files is not being recognized. Let's check the loader configuration. Make sure you have the necessary loaders installed. You can install the file loader by running the command npm install file loader save dev. This ensures that Webpack can handle the font files correctly. Additionally, verify that the include paths in your configuration are correct. Since your fonts are located in the node modules directory, you might need to adjust the include path to ensure Webpack can find them. Finally, after making these adjustments, restart your Storybook server to see if the changes resolve the compilation errors. If issues persist, consider checking for any conflicting configurations. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To resolve the issue with Storybook not finding the context, the user suggests setting the resolve roots in the configuration. They found that no additional configuration was needed. And that's it, guys. I hope we found the solution you're looking for. And look, if we did, please hit the subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. And until the next time you need technical help, I hope you have a good one.